What's up guys, JV2017 here, and basically I have my Spirit Healer Creation Mage Guide, and so I'm in the Black Emporium, which is a DLC, you can only go in here of course if you have the DLC, and you can only get this potion that resets your all of your um, abilities if you have this DLC, just to make sure, so I'm going to take the Maker's Sigh, and it's going to reset all of my stats, and so... Basically, I'm going to build up the uh, the build for you guys, and uh, here we are. Also, I must note, this is for level 20, so it's just, you know, level 20 is just kind of a nice level that um, I'll be able to present this to you guys and kind of explain everything. So, uh, you know, this is only a level 4 mage, but it doesn't matter. I'll still be able to show you uh, everything. So, we'll start it with the attributes, and of course, being a mage, your two major attributes that you'll want to be concerning yourself with are willpower and magic and you're just going to want to keep these even and someone asked me how to keep them even um i know you get two points per level uh, sorry three points when you level but you, you know you just like one uh, sorry two in magic one in willpower then the next level you do two in willpower one in magic that's what i mean by keeping them even so you just really want to balance those out and also because you're going to be kind of um you're, you're going to be playing defensive, although there are some kind of semi-offensive uh, kind of manipulation spells. Uh, you know, you'll need some constitution because you know you'll be um, having some enemies hitting you sometimes. So definitely incorporate constitution into your build, especially, especially if you're playing on a difficulty higher than normal. So uh, e even some battles get pretty hectic if you don't have any constitution on your mage, so... Just, uh, you know, you should definitely worry a little bit about that. So, at level 1, we're just going to presume that you don't have the Black Emporiums because it's easier. So, and also Mind Blast is very useful. It uh, It's basically just like the uh, get the hell off of me spell and uh, directs all of the hostile attention to um, someone else. So, that's very nice and it also blows back enemies. So, at uh, level 1, you'll have Mind Blast. Then we'll go over to Creation and grab Heal. Which, of course, is just your bread and butter, basically. You're just, you know, your normal healing spell. So now, at level 3, we're going to upgrade that heal, and it'll increase the health regeneration by 40%. Very nice upgrade. And, uh, let's see. At level 4, we're going to go down here and get Heroic Aura, which is a sustained mode, which means you turn it on, and, sorry, it's going to switch here. Which means you're going to turn it on, and it's going to stay on, and it's going to uh, reserve 20% of your mana. So you can't use 20% of your mana, but at the same time, it increases your attack for all your party members and the defense. Very, very nice. So now at level 5, we're going to go up here and get Glyph of Paralysis, which just lays down like an area. It says 6 meters, and uh, it paralyzes two enemies uh, for 20 seconds. So it's a very nice... Very nice and long, uh, that's not what she said, kind of glyph. Um, so very nice, <laughs> I know I just said that. So now we're going to go back to Arcane and upgrade Mind Blast to Stunning Blast, which just increases the physical force, which means how much your enemies are blown back by the spell. And uh, now it has 100% uh, chance to stun in a larger size, I believe. So that's a huge upgrade, really, for that one spell. So now we're going to go back for level 7 and go get, let's see, what do we have here? Um, we're going to get, sorry, I am looking over here. Oh, sorry, at level 7, <laughs> I was confused there. At level 7, you get your first special specialization, and since this is a spirit healer creation mage, we're going to put our point into spirit healer, which just outright increases your mana by 25, so that's cool. And we're going to get Healing Aura at level 7, which is a sustained mode. So now we have Heroic Aura and Healing Aura. And that'll um, both of those will both take up 50% of our mana, but we'll have so much points of willpower it won't even matter. So uh, basically this will increase the health regeneration rate for all party members inside this kind of um, this area. So... I think you have to turn this on in order to use, I think if we look at the description here, uh, the mage can use spirit healer spells and becomes a locus, increasing all natural healing. 
So, but you can't cast any offensive spells, which isn't a problem since we're not offensive at all with this build, but I'm not sure if you have to have this on to cast Group Heal and Revival and stuff like that, those two spells. I'm not sure about this, guys. Of course, you can leave a comment if you know for sure, but uh, it doesn't... Oh, yeah, no, it says Healing Aura must be active. So, yeah, you have to have this on in order to cast uh, Group Heal and Revival, so might as well uh, prepare for that. So, now... We're going to go back over to creation, and we're going to be flip-flopping back and forth, because this is the way I like to do it um, with two trees that I'm, I'm focusing on. So we're going to get Valiant Aura, which just uh, increases upon Heroic Aura at level 8. And uh, level 9, we're going to go up here and get Haste, which increases attack speed for all party members for 10 seconds. This is great for boss battles, really great spell here. Now we're going to go back over to Spirit Healer and get Revival. And this is just like your resurrection spell. You just grab enemy, I'm sorry, uh, allies off the ground. And, you know, so they're not hurt anymore, obviously. <laughs> and uh, that costs, bleh, costs 40 mana and really long cooldown. But eventually we'll be able to upgrade that cooldown. So now we're going to go back over to creation. And at level 11 we'll get Glyph of Repulsion and... This basically repels opponents with a strong wave of force. And uh, this is just, you know, a nice pushback spell, kind of like, uh, you could say it's kind of like Mind Blast, but not really. So uh, that's level 11. Now we're going to go back over again to Spirit Healer and grab Group Heal, which restores the health of all your allies by 30%. Very nice. Okay, cooldown, and, you know, kind of okay mana too. So... Now we're going to go back once again over to creation and upgrade haste at level 13, which lasts, let's see, how much longer is that? Double. So it uh, doubles the amount of duration that it lasts. Very nice upgrade for that. Now we're going to go back over to spirit healer and grab second chance, which is a badass passive ability, which means you it's on forever once you have this passive ability it's just there and so this basically this uh, does not allow your allies to become injured which is so cool immunity to injury very 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 awesome and definitely uh, you don't have to worry about those injury kits anymore with this passive ability so now I'm going to go back and get glyph of binding let's see where's glyph there it is which just increases the enemies of Paralyze and just increasing the effects of Glyph of Paralysis. So now we're going to go back once again and get Unity, which I believe is right here. <laughs> and this increases the health regeneration of the group heal, heal spell, so now it's 50% health regeneration. And basically, you know, really with this build, you're just going to be seeing the same thing. It's just you get a spell, and then you upgrade it. You know, it's, it's uh, not too complicated. So now we're going to get, let's see, where is this spell? Vitality. It's a passive ability. Increases your constitution, which is your health, and your health regeneration rate by 100. So this really makes you a nice, sturdy healer, and you won't be falling as much once you have vitality at level 17. So now at level 18, we're going to get, which is probably the best uh, spirit healer spell I want, or upgrade I want to say, increases the health regeneration rate by 50 for all party members when you're using healing aura. Super, super helpful. So now we're going to get radiance at level 19, and this will just increase your, the uh, area of effect for healing aura, and... Uh, basically, for this last level 20, you can upgrade Revival uh, by getting Renewal, which just, you know, uh, restores more health and mana and stamina, or you can get uh, Refusal and reduce that long cooldown, or you could go over and get Glyph of Defiance, which uh, upgrades Glyph of Repulsion, but that's really just, you know, the player's choice. So, hope you guys enjoyed this build. Uh, this has been JV2017, and I will talk to you later. Peace.